This gentleman I'm about to bring in, he's a music exec, he's a composer, a producer, Grammy winning artist, he's the one and only Stanley Brown. Good morning, sir. Good morning, buddy, how are you? <laughs> I, I, hey, look, I'm all right. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, man, for laughing. Uh, it was a rough morning, right? It was a rough morning. Yeah, yeah rough morning, but you know, I, I, I'm here, I, I thank God. Uh, we're here today to talk about your music right now, you know, you, you know, you put something together called God is Good with Karen, you know, Karen Clark Sheard, uh, Heather Kyle Walker, and Kiara Sheard. Tell me a little bit about that. What uh, motivates you guys to get together and do this particular song? You, you know, um, I've had history with, with, well, let me just say with both Bishop Walker, Hezekiah Walker, and Karen Clark Sheard. In 1980s, mm -hmm. in the 80s, I was, well, one, I was having a conversation with Hezekiah Walker last week, and we were debating um, whether or not we started the choir 35 years ago or 38 years ago, right? Wow. Most don't know, when I was about 15, um, I started the choir with Bishop Hezekiah Walker, the Love Fellowship Crusade Choir. Are you kidding um, me? Did the first album. Um, yeah, so we, we've we had histories. We grew up as, as young teenagers and kids together. So um, I just never did anything that was important to me without him being right next to me. Um, and then in 1996, 1996, I signed uh, Miss Karen Clark Sheard to her first um, solo project, which is a record called Finally Karen. Wow. And so when this record, God is Good, came about, um, I was like, man, I got to go back to the roots. I got to go back to how it started. So I called yeah. Jay Drew Shared. I called Jay Drew. Um, and I said, hey, I need your moms on the song for me. Can you get her? Can you get in the studio? And I kept pressing him and pressing him. And he called. He said, all right, Unc, I'm going to make it happen. He recorded Miss Karen in the studio, sent me her vocals back, the files back. But not only did he send Miss Karen, he sent my niece, Kiara, she had kept yeah. on the record as well. So that's how the whole thing came about. Wow. You you know, um, just listening to it, man. Um, <laughs> I'll say this to you. It has that, it has that, that easy summertime feeling. I mean, I say summertime, I, I am like from like Will Smith feel that, that exactly. I can put it, I, I can get in the car and I'm just, you know, driving and it, it just carry, it carries you that way or it can carry you in worship all the time. God is good because sometimes we need to hear that to, to build our faith back up, you know? And um, I just think that the, the, the song is hot, man. Me being a morning show, I'm like, <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a great way to, to, to start your day um, because, you know, I'm from the mindset that you have to really be careful what you say. You know oh yeah, I mean? big time, big time. So I'm just really big on that, and and even on a bad day, you know, um, and I'm gonna call you Unc, you know, because just how how we grew up, you know, we, we just put. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? You got to put a handle on it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I said, um, even if you're having a bad day, the fact remains that even on a bad day, God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. His, uh, you know, his mercy endures forever. He's good. His goodness. Yeah, because um, sometimes we even think things are going well because we did something good. I was like, nah. That... <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You Absolutely. know, we think well, I gave him a special offer. And he got like that's right. nice, but but I, I'm still your daddy. I'm still Abba. <laughs> you know? so Absolutely. It's it's all good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, we we do forget. We 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 um we we got our um our offering lines, and we think that 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 carries us through. I'll be like, nah, no, <laughs> yeah, no. he he he's bigger than that. You know, looking you up, just hearing about you, all the people you work with, TD Jakes. I mean, I mean, the, the list just go on and on. I, I'm sitting here, I'm going through, and I was just telling you, you know, before we started, I was like, hey, look, you know, um, you know, I don't fake things, man. I, I tell the truth. I was like, look. A lot of I didn't know about you, but I'm like, you have a um a, a, a resume that's longer than Broad Street, which was Philadelphia, which is like yes, <laughs> a hundred <laughs> miles long. But um, uh, but just tell me, man, like it's like you just kept reinventing yourself, doing different things, like how God put you in different areas as producers and our director, and not just like 
with anybody. I'm talking about with everybody who is. It's like when I look at you, I'm like, before Kirk Franklin was, you were. You know yes. I mean? yes. <laughs> That's how yes. I look at you. You yes. know, because we look at Kirk as a mini hats man. You know what I mean? Yes. So yes, definitely. So tell me. So how did that start with you, bro? How did you know? I'm um, I'm sorry, uh, Stanley. Uh, how did that start with you? No, bro, it's fine. I like that. I'm from I'm from <laughs> Brooklyn, so that works. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, praise God. <laughs> oh yeah. man, you know, like I said, I started in the church. Um, I started as a session keyboard player, which means I would go around to all the hip hop sessions playing keyboards on all of their records, and and one thing would lead to to the to the next thing. I was I was in the studio playing keyboards for a producer who was producing a song now, I'm gonna take you back, right? Mm -hmm. A group, the group was called Color Me Bad. Oh my the, God. The, the song was, I wanna sex you up. Yeah. Right? So I was in the studio playing keyboards. That, yeah. The manager, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I remember that. The manager, <laughs> saw, <laughs> yeah. the manager saw me working and as I was packing up my keyboards to leave, he said, hey young man, he said, he said are you a producer? I said, no, I just play keyboard. So he said, nah, you're a producer. His name was Hiram Hicks. He's from Philadelphia, too. Yeah, Hiram Hicks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yep. So Hiram Hicks um, gave me a shot. He, he, he booked some studio time for me. I went in the studio, and I wrote a song called I'm Dreaming, right, that was performed by the artist Christopher Williams. Yeah, ended, big boy. Yep, yeah. Yep. So it ended up getting on the New Jack City soundtrack. And that became my first number one record ever. And then from that moment, it's like it was a spiral effect. The career, my career just started jumping off and jumping off. And it was amazing. Yeah, I, man, I'm, I'm looking at the fact that, you know, uh, everyone who you work with, I'm, when, I, when I look at uh, uh, T.D. Jake's project that you worked on, that was huge, man. You know, that yes. was... Um, it, it it was like a shift because you know Titty already had that that special anointing on him anyway, man. But for y'all to connect, yeah, yeah, you're the only guy here. I, I would go into to like almost any store. You can go to, in the black stores or the white, or in the you know in the black area or the white area, and you'll see TD Jake's books. That was unusual back in the day. It was you unusual. Know? It was yeah. Unusual. It was it, it was very unusual to see that. People yes. don't understand that. Like to see his stuff next. To Kenneth Hagen's or going to a um yeah. uh, a, a, a you know a regular bookstore and you'll see him in there. Too. I'm like, what? That's it. It's probably everywhere. Oh, definitely. He definitely took it to the next level. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and you know people don't give him credit for you know. I mean, I'm, of course it's guy, but you know what I mean. How God uses him, absolutely. You know, but um, it, it's beautiful how to see the Lord do that. How God just crossed him over like that. You know, like absolutely. he does Kirk. And but I'm yes. just looking at you. You're part of that. Do you get what I'm yes. saying? Yes. You're an integral part of that because without you, if it's not on paper, it's not going to be in the studio. If it's not in the studio, it's not going to be in our ears. That's so, right. so <laughs> we have to like recognize you as like one of the um, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> one of the well, I'm saying one of the founders of gospel because when we because they say you know you work with Fred Hammond now because back when it was Verity. That's when he did yes. Pages of Life. You know what I mean? Yes. And we all know that Pages of Life is like part of the, you know what I mean, the foundation of of, of modern day, you know, like Christian music, you know? Yes, definitely. <laughs> you know? 100%. Yeah, man. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I just get hyped, man. Don't mind me. No, I just that's get... <laughs> good. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. I like this. I like it. <laughs> I, I, yo. Cause um now because I just love to learn new new stuff and and, and I'm just looking at all like I, I was like bro you you done you done ran through some some people on here man I'm just looking at folks I mean oh man you got Keith Sweat Hezekiah Walker um oh man Char look Charlie Wilson all these cats you work with Drew Hill that's crazy to me yeah that's crazy the Temptations come on man. Yeah, oh man. man, this 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 is. <laughs> I, I I no seriously, I'm blown away. I, I, it just get me because it's things you don't know. It, you, you know what it reminds me of? I'm sorry, I, I'm a talker, man. So no, you know, let me shut it. up. Let's talk. Let's talk. Listen, I found out. I seen a clip. My daughter sent me a clip. I seen it, and it talked about the Matrix and talked about this young lady, and she was talking about the Matrix, and they said that she wrote the Matrix and she wrote um the Terminator. Yes. And she was and she was explaining like, oh, yeah, well, the Terminator is part of the Matrix. You know what I mean? The baby that she has is John Connor grows up to be Neo in the Matrix. And I was like, she don't know what she's talking about. 
Come to find out, it was a young black lady wrote both The Matrix and Terminator. Absolutely. Blew my mind. I said, now, why do we know who wrote Harry Potter, but we don't know about her? Know who. Exactly. And exactly. I feel that way about you right now. Like, yes. why do I wow. know all these other names, but I don't know who you are? Like, like why why isn't that coming off like, like this is mentioned more, more often? I heard your name before, but I've you know, your, your track record, you know? Yes. So I'm sorry. Uh, I know that was a lot. No, but. no, that's good. That's, I, appreciate, I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. I mean, I mean, I mean but but how is that? Because I, I know that you are, I think you worked on, now, is it Sunday special? I'm sorry. What's yes, you I, on? I was the musical director um, with my with my brother and friend, PJ Morton. Um, we served as the musical directors for season three, Sunday Best, the year that Leandria Johnson won. Amen. Amen. Okay, good. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, man. You got this touch that everybody needs. That Jamin Lewis, that, you know what I mean? That, you know, that baby, that, that LaFace joint, you know what I mean? It's be, <laughs> be popping. Can I go back and say Tom Bell? Can I go? There you go, Tom Can Bell. I go back and say, uh, oh, on. man, Tom Bell. His his sound was so smooth, man. I said, Lord, I said, if he if, if he had, had Luther under, oh, my God. Ooh, come on. That would have been something. That would have been on. beautiful, man. I mean, <laughs> but anyway, I'll leave it alone. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So um, but what drives you, man? Well, you know what? One, I, I count it as a blessing to be able to do what I do, and to mm -hmm. be able to have uh, done it for so long. Um, it's, it's it's a blessing, and I don't take any of it for granted. Um, Amen. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all of it, and um, and my goal is to inspire. Um, mm -hmm. and I always use the term that I heard someone say one time about sending the elevator back down, right? I think it's wow. our job to make sure when you talk about, when you make reference to all the things I've done in, in my past, um, that was only just to get other people in the rooms, you know, yeah. and to inspire. And one, especially because I'm a church kid, I'm a church boy, right? Amen. And I Amen. always wanted to prove, I always wanted to be the poster child for faithfulness and dedication, right? Wow. That if you were dedicated and faithful to God, right, he's going to be faithful to you. You know Amen. what I mean? And everybody didn't have to go out in, in, in the world and, and, and do other things that we had options through music. And um, and God has blessed me and he, he's expanded the platform for, for three decades or more. Amen. Yeah, we're talking with the one and only Stanley Brown. Listen, you know, you, you, you remind me of um, Samuel Jackson. They asked him a question. <laughs> A long time ago, they said, you know, he's over, in, you know, a couple billion, his movies, you know, combined gross couple billion dollars. And he's and they asked him what was the key to it. He said, truthfully, he said, whatever they put in front of me, I just did it. He said, I'm an actor, so I just act. You know, mm -hmm. if, if they put in, and that's something that the Holy Spirit had told me one day, he was just like, hey, D, my name is my friend, it's Daryl. He said, yeah. Daryl, do the work. I, I, I saw the Holy Spirit say that. Do, do the, the work. work. Uh, do the work. I, I don't feel like I don't feel like going over there. With, do the work. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't feel like hearing all that right now. You know, you want to be out here. Do the work. Do, and we'll see. He was like, the anointing is going to meet you. Don't worry about that. You just do the work. Don't. And that's what we felt. Realize sometimes we come places. Oh, there's only ten people in here. I don't know if I want to do. It. Do the work. Do just, the work. Just do, and and I know you got stories dealing with all the people you dealt with. Oh man. <laughs> Please, I, you can write a book, but you know we don't want to. We don't want to do right. that because that's guys, people. But Lord have mercy, because I know what it is to deal with folk, and I, and I mean all of us, not just us that look like me yes. and you, all of us. Because we, <laughs> I don't, and then you look, then you look. I'm 55. You look real. You know, you look like a young boy, man. You, you know, it's like man. Well, you said you're 55 now. Yeah, I'll be 55 in a few weeks. Are you kidding me? Yes. See, man, I'm jealous, man. See, that's what I'm talking yes, about. Man. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'll be April in April, April eighth. Yes. Oh man, I, I'm jealous, man. <laughs> I'm jealous. Listen, yeah, yeah, hey, look, I, that's what I'm saying, man. I, I just love what you're doing, and then you still, you still doing mu music that's relevant. You know, sometimes we get lost, yeah, and we and, and we can't connect, and we try to connect, and it, it's right. like it just don't sound right. And it's like, man, but this right here, as soon as it comes on, it has a familiar 
a familiar tune that, that makes you bounce. It's like, oh, yes. oh okay, I can do yes. this. And, can... and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted, I was intentional about, like, when you say the Will Smith summertime feeling, um, like, you can't say God is good, and then what you're hearing sonically doesn't reflect that. That, that yes. good, positive energy, you know, it makes you want to drop the top, you know, on a Saturday on your way to the barbershop or cleaning the house. Yep. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. And that's that's the little things that people miss sometimes. And, you know, it's like, they'd be like, what's wrong with my project? And, got, you know, we always have to be nice. You know what I mean? Like, well, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong yes. with it. That's, yes. they, I, I just get out and go, did God tell you to do it? Yeah, then you're good. Yes. <laughs> After yes. I get out yes. of it, I'm Ab like that. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do. I'm like, look, I ain't got to do with this. I ain't got but it, but my, the big thing is just that sometimes we miss it because we're trying to please, you know, peep, you know, certain people or certain, you know, you know, I belong under this denomination. I know how they, right. you know, how we bring it in in the morning. I'm like, right. but you, you're sending your, me your, your 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 music to the world. It's not just to the church. It's not know? to the church. It's not to the church. You know, because the way we present it, um, the gospel. Um, it's important because we have to present it different ways in different uh, spaces and places without compromising the gospel or with, without compromising the message. But it's just sometimes how people receive it has to be mm -hmm. has to be in a way that they can understand it. Yeah, most definitely. I'm excited about this track, man. That you got that you got. You know, both of the shares on here, and yes. you know, you, you know, you rolling, man. You. <laughs> <laughs> You rolling, man, but I ain't gotta tell you that. <laughs> man, you it's, it's, I'm just uh Mr. D, I'm just so I'm, I'm just grateful, man. I'm just I'm just I just feel blessed. That's all. That's all. Yeah. You have an awesome spirit, man. Mm. You have an awesome, awesome spirit. You know what I mean? It ain't no like I'm up here, like what you know, you know how we can get, man. We can we can get so out of pocket. Yeah. Um, but it's 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 a humbleness, man, like a um and to know all that you do and you still like, hey, yeah, it's all right, man. No problem. No problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I had problems doing seriously getting on. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. you know, people need to hear this because we we forget. Yeah. We 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 forget about conduct. We forget about those things. And and the part of the things that is bringing you where you are, because sometimes God was like, I do want to use you, but if I throw you in that room, man, you're going, you're going, you're going to kill everybody's spirit. You're going, you're going, you're going, yeah, exactly. You know, you got to be able to handle those rooms, man. Yeah. Yeah. And I look at every place that God has brought you, the ones that I know about, you know what I mean? Cause there's a lot that we don't know about, of course, but it's like for you to be in all those places, there's no way in the world. No one can say like, oh, he, this brother's not anointed to do this. No, nah, he had you everywhere, man. Producing, you know, I me, mean, music director doing this, doing that. Come on now. Come on. Yeah. Man. You, you, yeah, you, man. You know. it's, it's, it's been it's been a it's been a blessed run. <laughs> hey, 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 man. You, but, the, but the thing is, you still running. <laughs> you still, you're still running. You're still running. Yes. Come, on. Come on, man. <laughs> Oh man! I say once again, I'm sorry I didn't know more about you, but I I learned, and you know what I mean. I'm uh, I'm just saying, you know, man, I'm humbled to be on here with you, man. I really am. No, and you have my number. That's my cell. So lock me in, and if there's anything I could ever do, man, I'm 24 seven. Just call me. Hey, I I appreciate that. You know, you you can't tell black folks that, man. You... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, man. My no, cash app, yeah, my cash no, app is. Know. Let me know. <laughs> Tell me when you that... got a barbecue. When you having a barbecue at the crib, I'll pull up. <laughs> he he, look, he said, I'm gonna give you the parameters. When you're doing something, that... <laughs> can you come down to the studio and take a listen to this? Like, no, nah, no, nah, I ain't say that. I said. <laughs> no, anything, oh. anytime, man, anytime. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you, bro. Hey, look, God bless. Nice meeting you. Have a good one, babe. I appreciate. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. All right. God bless. Hey, guys, this is Stanley Brown, and you're listening to the Praise Alleluia radio show with my uncle, Brother D, and my auntie, Sister A. Peace out.
people. This is your man, Kirk Franklin. You're checking out Praise the Lord with some of the best to ever do it with Brother D and Sister A. Billy, let's go.